Re bonjour. Je m'appelle Steph Storm. Bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Last week, I shared a romantic date theme called A Day in Paris, where I suggested five ideas for decorations and activities for couples to enjoy at home. Well, in our imaginations, we've been in Paris for a whole week now. So in this video, I'll share five more ideas of things to do in Paris at night. Let's get started. We're going to start off by staging the scene again with another DIY backdrop. I'm using a flat backdrop from Amazon. It's a scene of the Eiffel Tower at sunset that appears to be from the terrace of a French restaurant. But I can't just leave it like this. Of course, I'm going to enhance it a bit. To cover the legs of the backdrop stand, I made a half wall with a ledge. This will give us the feeling of being inside the restaurant, whereas last week we were sitting outside of the French cafe. To go a step further, I built up some side walls on an angle and framed out the flat backdrop. Now it gives the appearance of us looking out the window of the restaurant and having this picture-perfect view of the Eiffel Tower. On the backdrop image, you can see there are some gold sheer curtains that are painted on. I thought it would look better if I added some real curtains to the inside for more detailed dimension. These kind of 3D details can be added to just about any flat backdrop to make it feel a little more realistic. I repurposed and reused the same foam boards from the last video to create the stone wall effect that you see here in this one. I wanted to show you too that you can actually place some lightweight objects like candles or flower pots on the ledge. It's a real load bearing ledge just made out of foam board. So we've gone from this, a flat backdrop with the leg showing, to this, a window with a view. If you like it so far, press the thumbs up button below. But I'm not done yet. To really bring this view to life, I added some twinkle lights behind it and put it on a setting where the lights slowly go from bright to dim, just like a real sunset when the sun briefly hides behind the clouds. Watch closely. What do you think about that? Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. Number two, set a restaurant tablescape. This is a lamp that I borrowed from my home office. I wanted to use it as a simple centerpiece for the table. So I removed the bulb and shade. I took a drinking glass and covered it with some silver poster board paper. To embellish it, I use these fancy textured stickers from the Dollar Tree. Then I simply placed it upside down on the lamp base and topped it with a battery operated candle. I'll tuck the power cord under the base and conceal it with some flowers later. But this is just a little hack for using some things that you already have at home.
Since I did so much decorating on the restaurant itself, I wanted to keep the table setting simple so that the focus would be on the view. The colors of these floral arrangements are pulled from the backdrop. So we've got a reservation at this cozy little corner spot in this French restaurant with a view, and it's private away from all the other customers. Number three, cook a meal together. We already know it can be romantic when couples cook together, but how about adding an extra twist? Tie the knot by preparing an entire meal with your dominant hands tied together with a handkerchief. You'll have to be really close and move in sync. Play nice now, no fighting. If you decide to try this, make sure you leave plenty of extra time for preparing your meal. This is sure to bring you closer together. Another fun thing to do while you cook is to play Guess the Ingredients. Now this is a game of trust. I trust that he won't feed me some kind of yucky combination. On the menu, we had homemade French onion soup, artichoke and cheese stuffed mushrooms. We slow cooked some short ribs till they fell off the bone. And does this look familiar? That's right, it's our little friend from the Pixar movie. For the first time, we made some ratatouille. We found a recipe video for how to make it on YouTube. And ours didn't turn out too bad. Looks like we're ready for dinner and some live entertainment. I even put my hair up in a French roll. holding hands, look into each other's eyes, and try to make the best of this time spent at home. Number four, after dinner, we enjoyed some live entertainment. You're not in Paris until you've seen a live jazz French quartet. I'll leave the link for this jazz concert in the description box below. Ah, <sighs> that was fun. Let's get out of here and go take a walk. Let's go see Paris at night. One last look at this view. Number five, a virtual tour. Paris at night is breathtaking. You see all the sights and the lights, and there's usually a fireworks display at the Eiffel Tower. So many people walking the streets, the city never sleeps. I'll leave a link to this YouTube channel below.
As a bonus, I'd like to recommend one of our favorite movies to watch where the setting is in France. It's called Hundred Foot Journey. It's romance and French food at its finest. This is a must see. And if you've already seen it, go ahead, watch it again. We did. Well, my friends, I hope you got some good ideas for your next date night at home. We're gonna continue to dance the night away. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Also, feel free to leave me any comments in the comment section below. Come back and see me next week. I post new videos on decorating and event planning. If you haven't already, go back and check out some of my previous videos too. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.